In this video, I'm gonna be covering all of the basics, all of the fundamentals when it comes to niche websites or niche websites, depends how you like to say it. I'm gonna be starting from the very start and covering what a niche website is and then moving on to how you create a niche website. And then finally, I'm gonna be talking about what on earth you do with a niche website and how you actually make money from it. This video is gonna be fairly fast paced. I wanna get through all of the basics. It's not gonna to go too deep into any of those subjects, although you will find links to loads of other videos on my channel that do go deeper into those areas. So, let's go. Hello, it's Alex here. For those of you that are new, that haven't seen my videos before, welcome. Good to see you. As I said, my name is Alex and this channel is WP Eagle. And I've been making money online for six years, maybe seven years now. And in fact, I've been documenting a lot of that process right here on this YouTube channel, including creating niche websites from scratch and sharing my adventure with that project right here on the channel, including earnings, traffic, and all that stuff. So if you wanna go watch any of that, you'll find links in the description to all of the relevant videos, and you're definitely gonna to wanna to go check them out. So this video is about the basics of a niche website. So let's start at the beginning. What on earth is a niche website? or a niche website. So for the rest of this video, I am gonna be calling them niche websites rather than niche websites, just for a bit of consistency. And of course, as I'm English, we do say niche websites. So a niche website is basically a website that has content on it, articles, videos, maybe other content that is about a particular topic. And however wide or broad that topic is, it really depends on you. You can have a very specific niche website. It's about a very specific topic. Or, as I said, you can have wider, broader ones that cover you know, a, a wider array of topics within a particular subject. Now, these sites generally get the majority of their traffic from Google. So people searching for information, they type questions, that kind of stuff into Google. They find the niche website and they you know, consume the content within the website. These websites, they make their money for a number of ways. The main ways are affiliate marketing. So within your content, you recommend a product or a service when the visitor clicks on one of your special tracking links, also known as an affiliate link, they click through and they go off to whatever company it is selling that product. And then when they make that purchase, you as the niche website owner earn a commission. A lot of companies do offer an affiliate program. A lot of people start with Amazon. That's a great way to start. You can sign up as an Amazon affiliate straight away and you can get hold of your special tracking links and you can start promoting Amazon products and earning really, really quickly. But yeah, generally most companies will have an affiliate program that you can join just by completing a form. Another way that people monetize their niche websites is through advertising. So you simply sign up with a network like Google AdSense or with Ezoic and you add a little bit of code to your website. It's really easy, just a bit of copying and pasting. And then ads will start to show on your website. You can obviously decide where you want those ads to be, down the side, across the top, within the content, wherever you like. And when people view those ads, and indeed click on those ads, you will earn some money. And generally they pay out on every 1,000 impressions. So that's every 1,000 views of an ad, you will earn some money. And it does vary considerably depending on the visitors that you get to your site, the kind of content and what subject that content is on. There's a number of different variables when it comes to how much you'll earn from ads, but it's, it's a really good earner. And in fact, most sites use a combination of the two, affiliate and ads. So that, in a nutshell, is what a niche website is. It's a website with information. People come to it, you make money from the ads or you make money from the affiliate links. A niche website is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Most websites don't actually earn any decent money for at least 12 months. So during that time, you're gonna to have to put a lot of work in as well. So there's a lot of time involved and there's a lot of work involved. Just wanna make that clear. The other thing I wanna make clear is they are pretty risky. They're pretty risky because they get the majority of their traffic from search engines like Google. You know, Google can change the listings. Google can change the rankings. Your website's gonna move around within Google. Some days you're gonna get a lot of traffic, other days not so much. If there's a kind of serious change in the algorithm, then you may lose a lot of traffic overnight. And obviously that can have a serious effect on your income. So they are a risky investment, but like all risky investments, if it works out, they can be very lucrative. Okay, so now we've cleared up exactly what a niche website is. Let's talk about how on earth you would actually build one. Let's start with the actual website. I'm gonna cover two areas, the website and the content, because that kind of 
is what a niche website is. It's the technology, the website, and it is the content. So let's start with the actual website. The first thing is you're gonna to wanna to choose a niche. Now, a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to think of the perfect niche to try and come up with some idea for a niche that's not yet been tapped into by anyone and, and all that kind of stuff. My advice would be don't spend too long thinking of a niche. Ideally, go for something that you know about. Ideally, go for something that you've got experience and knowledge in because that will make creating the site a whole lot easier, probably more fun, and it will give your site a certain level of authority because it's coming from you, an expert in whatever it is you're gonna be writing about. If you can't think of something off the top of your head that you're into that you could create a website about, I will put a link up now, and again, links in the description, to a couple of videos on choosing a niche from myself and from some other fellow YouTubers. Go watch them out, but as I say, don't spend too long worrying about what niche you're gonna create your site in. Once you've found something that looks decent, just go for it. So once you've got your niche, you're probably gonna want a domain name. A domain name is the .com. It's what people type into the URL. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a .com. There's a lot of extensions available now, but yeah, your domain name is your URL, and it's basically what people type into the address bar. It's the address of your website. Now, when it comes to domain names, there's two trains of thought. The first is mine, which is maybe a little bit out of date, which is to try and include some keywords in the domain. So some examples of my website, best corn popper.com, which is about popcorn. Before that, I had bestroofbox.com, which was about um, roof boxes for cars. I've also got Can You Wash It, which is an Italian domain, which is about washing clothes. Exciting, I know. So yeah, I tend to try and get a keyword or at least some sort of words that are relevant to the niche within the domain name. Now, the other train of thought, which comes from a, a lot of recognized experts in this field, is to go for more of a brand. So, you know, rather than me having best corn popper, I should have had something like Mr. Popcorn or that popcorn guy, or something like that, something that's more brandable. Or in fact, maybe I should drop popcorn altogether and just be, you know, Mr. Eagle, <laughs> whatever. Something that you can, you know, build up as a brand. Maybe like WP Eagle, that is, that is kind of brandable, isn't it? So it's really up to you. I think both can work well. It really depends on how far you want to uh, take the site. One thing I would say to keep in mind is if you do go very specific and call your site, you know, the best popcorn site, that is kind of limiting you do then have to just write about popcorn. Whereas if you call your site, you know, the good snack guide, you can cover popcorn, potato chips, candy, <laughs> whatever you like. So keep that in mind as well. Do you want to go really specific or maybe in the future you're going to want to expand whatever works for you, I guess, but keep that in mind when you're registering your domain. Okay, so that's the niche and domain name sorted. Once you've got that, you're going to want to actually create the website. Now I recommend WordPress. That's why I've got WP in the channel name. <laughs> this channel is all about WordPress. WordPress is a free platform. It's an excellent publishing platform. It's really flexible. You can make it look how you want. You can add plugins to add functionality. It's a really good platform. Now to get yourself a WordPress site, do not go to wordpress.com. That is not the place to go. What you want to do is you want to find a decent hosting company. Again, I will put some links below um, to a decent hosting company. I recommend Spiderweb. It's run by a friend of mine. He's really good. You'll find a link below and if you get in touch with him, he will sort you out. But generally any hosting company is good. Just check the reviews. You want something that's really fast, because that's gonna be really important, really fast and with good support. And you want a hosting company that will install WordPress for you. Now, most of them will do that. You just buy the hosting and they'll set WordPress up for you and they'll send you all the logins and everything you need. But that's it when it comes to hosting. I've done videos on hosting before. I will put links to them below. They may be a little out of date now, but generally when it comes to hosting, you just want fast and you want good support at a reasonable price. So you've got your hosting with your WordPress set up. You're now ready to start setting your website up. WordPress is gonna require a theme. So for your niche website, you're gonna need a good WordPress theme. Now, there's a lot of WordPress themes out there. There's thousands and thousands. Personally, I like to go for something that's really clean that just shows off the content because at the end of the day, that's why people are gonna be coming to your website to look at your content. You don't wanna have too many bells and whistles all over the site to distract them. You just want real clean lines, clear layout, something that does show off your content really well. So there's a couple of themes that spring to mind. The first one um, I used for my uh, Roofbox case study, which by the way, I did sell that site for over $70,000. So yeah, this stuff can work. For that site, I used a free WordPress theme. It's called Base WP. Again, links in the description. And it's a real clean, nice, easy, free WordPress theme. Install it, couple of configuration things, and you're done. The second theme I'm gonna recommend, and I do have a vested interest in this, and that's because it's a theme that I've developed alongside a couple of other guys, and that theme is popcorn theme. 
and it's been specifically designed for niche websites and affiliate marketing websites. It's super clean, it's super fast, it's got great features built in that allow you to show off stuff within your content like products or just generally make your content really pop. So yeah, go check out Popcorn Theme and as it's you and as you're watching my video, I'm gonna put a special discount code um, on the screen somewhere now and also you'll find a code uh, below. That'll get you a discount off Popcorn Theme. It's usually $99, but for that you can use it on as many sites as you like. So you've got your WordPress, you've got your theme, you're nearly there in terms of getting your site up and running. In terms of graphics and logos, I design all that stuff myself. So if you wanna come up with a great logo, I suggest you go check out Canva. That's the tool I use, again, link below. It's a free graphic uh, editing piece of software, it's online, use it in your browser. You can pay for the pro version, which I highly recommend that you do, because with the pro version, you get loads of stock images, you get loads of graphics, you get a load of other tools, like a background remover, and your Canva. If I had a list of tools that I use every day, Canva would probably be at the top of that list. It's a fantastic uh, piece of software, and even if you've got no graphic design skills, a bit like me, you can still come up with something half decent in very little time. So for all your graphics needs, do go check out Canva. That's the perfect place to design a logo and do any other images that you need for your website. So with all that, you should now have a website set up. You've got your hosting, you've got WordPress, you've got a domain name, you've got Canva for your graphics. In terms of plugins for WordPress, there are a number available and, well, there's thousands, thousands and thousands of plugins available for WordPress. And I often get asked, which are the best plugins I should use on my website? And my reply is always, don't use too many plugins. In fact, if you can not use any plugins at all, you'll probably be better off because every plugin that you add to WordPress does tend to slow it down. Don't worry about plugins, although I will have a video coming up real soon on plugins, just because people keep asking. And to make sure you don't miss that, make sure that you're subscribed. Do click the button below, and if you click the bell, you'll be notified of my upcoming videos, but also my live streams. Go click. Also, by the way, while you're down there, give that like button a click. That really does help me out. Really do appreciate it. Right, let's move on to the second part of a niche website. We've got our website. It's a blank canvas. We now need to think about content. Now, content is the most important thing when it comes to uh, niche websites. It's, it's not about really your website or your logo or your images. It's all about the content. So how do you come up with ideas for content? Well, it's pretty easy. Just head over to Google and start typing things in. Google will suggest, um, basically ideas for your searches, but those ideas are also great ideas for articles. Bring one up uh, onto the search results page, have a look, see what other people are writing, but then also check out the questions area, the bit where Google recommends other questions, because they are either gonna be other article ideas or they're gonna be the subheadings that you can use within the article you're about to create. It's a great way of doing research, and the thing is, those questions are coming up on Google, it means that people are actually searching using those words. So there's a good chance if you write a really good article around whatever the question is or whatever the keyword is, you'll rank and you'll get some good Traffic. So use Google, it's a great way to do some keyword research. Now, of course, there are a number of paid tools available that kind of make this a bit easier. I like Low Fruits, you can see on the screen. It's a real nice keyword tool, nice interface. It allows you to keep uh, lists and it gets a lot of its data from Google by scraping. So it gives you similar results, but it's just got a really nice interface. I'd say though, if you're on a, a limited budget and you're just starting out, you probably don't need to worry about keyword research tools at the very start. So what you wanna do is get all those ideas from Google or your keyword research tool or whatever it is you're using and create a list, maybe put it into a Google spreadsheet, or if you're using a keyword tool, you could probably keep the list within there. And then you wanna go out and start creating some content. Now maybe you're gonna write it yourself, which I would recommend you do at the very beginning so you've got a good idea in terms of what makes a good article, how you want them structured, and all that kind of thing. And it also then makes it a lot easier then to delegate to writers once you've done it yourself. So yeah, start writing some articles yourself, but then you're gonna to get to a point where you don't wanna write any articles anymore. Maybe you haven't got the time, or maybe you just wanna scale up the site a lot more quickly. Then you're gonna need some writers, probably. Now I did a, a video recently on how to hire writers and how indeed I hire my writers, and I've got a team of five or six writers that create content for me. That video, I'll put it up in a card and also a link in the description, go check that out. If you don't want writers, then we are now living in a time of AI. So you can ask robots to help you with your content, which I've, I've done a lot, <laughs> and it's actually really good. I use a tool called Jasper to create a lot of my content, um, but now we have ChatGPT as well, which is a free tool. And these tools can be really helpful in terms of you know, getting over writer's block and, and kind of streamlining the content creation process. But what I will say is you are gonna to wanna to put some human 
uh, influence into this content, you're gonna to wanna to edit and you're gonna to wanna to make it your own. So use AI up to a point, um, but don't just copy and paste pure AI onto your website because I don't think in the long run that will do you any favors. Use AI by all means, I do all the time and you'll find links to videos in the description where I've created articles that are still ranking really well. In fact, page one, most of them using Jasper AI. So go check those videos out. And I think AI is a useful tool in the mix, but don't just do total AI. Don't just copy it verbatim because yeah, there's gonna be a lot of changes coming over the next few months and years with regards to AI content. And I just think that if you're just copying and pasting AI content in, that's not gonna work. So you've got your content written. Now let's talk about adding it to your website. So generally you're just gonna copy and paste and lay it out really nice. If you've got a good theme with lots of features, like popcorn, then um, you can make your content look really, really nice. Uh, you know, use nice tables and um, alert boxes. Just generally make your content really pop. You're gonna want a nice featured image at the top and maybe some other images. You can uh, design them in Canva or you could use Jasper or uh, ChatGPT. I don't mean ChatGPT, I mean Dali, the one that goes with ChatGPT. Their AI image um, generators, they can work really well. I mean, the best thing, if you can, is to take photographs yourself of whatever it is you're talking about. That is the best way. But of course, we can't always do that. So publish your content with some nice images. In terms of SEO, there's not a lot you need to worry about. Just make sure that the keywords are clearly in the title. So if you're, you know, for example, writing an article on do dogs eat popcorn, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is the title of the article. And then for your headings, you're gonna to wanna to use keywords as well. So um, you're probably gonna find some questions from Google Search Suggest. There might be, you know, uh, is popcorn bad for dogs? How much popcorn can I feed a dog? They're gonna be your headings, basically the questions that you take from, from Google. And that's basically SEO. SEO is just marking up your stuff um, so that it's very clear to the search engines what the article is about. Now, of course, there's a lot more to it than that. SEO is also about reputation, which generally comes down to link building, but I'm not gonna go into that in this video because that's quite a big topic, but just have a look on YouTube and uh, on Google for link building articles and videos and you'll get some idea on how that can work. To really take your niche website to the next level, I'd recommend creating a YouTube channel, creating videos if possible. Now, of course, you don't have to show your face. You could just do like a, a PowerPoint or some other kind of screen presentation and talk over it, but by adding things like YouTube, maybe Pinterest and other social media, it can really improve the reputation of your niche website and, and really help you get traffic. I know a lot of people that have very visual niches, for example, fashion or food, they do really well with Pinterest, just sharing um, graphics, uh, infographics, and other images from their website onto Pinterest. And Pinterest? It's a Pinterest. It can be a really good source of traffic. So once you've started adding content to your site, you're gonna probably wanna think about where else you can push content out to. So you've got your site, you've got some content on there, you're probably gonna to wanna to start making some money. So as I mentioned in the beginning, a good way to do that is to add advertising. I recommend Ezoic. I'll put a link up, a link down. There's links everywhere, isn't there? But generally all down there. Go check out Ezoic. They've got no kind of minimum requirements in terms of traffic and they have some really good ad rates. If you don't fancy that, then Google AdSense is a really good place to start as well. Get those ads on your site and, and you can do this whenever you want. I mean, I'd probably wait until you're starting to get a little bit of traffic and then do it. But yeah, there's no, there's no real time frame on that uh, in terms of adding ads and starting to make some money. In terms of your affiliate links, that's gonna depend on the niche that you're in and the kind of stuff you're writing about. But Amazon is a good place to start and you just simply go over to Amazon, grab the relevant link and then paste it into your content. They also supply images and some other things to help you sell. Um, but it's gonna vary depending on which affiliate program you're in and which company and which products you're gonna be promoting. But you should be able to add those links straight away. So as soon as you're publishing content, if you see something that's relevant or maybe you're talking about products, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to start adding your affiliate links straight away. So there we go. I think I've covered all the basics. You've got your niche website. You know what it's all about. You're gonna start adding some content. Going forward, generally, all you're gonna be doing is adding more content add more content. <laughs> more content generally means more traffic, which generally means more money. So a niche website owner, their main tasks are planning content and adding content and also going back to old content and refreshing content. So content generally, a lot of content. Once you've got your site up running and you've started publishing some articles, just carry on, keep publishing. Publish as much as you possibly can and then Check your analytics, which I haven't really mentioned, but Google Analytics is a good place to start in terms of uh, tracking your visitors 
Again, I've got some videos on the channel on that. You check your analytics, see what's going on, see what's working. If you've got a particularly busy bit of content that's getting a lot of traffic, you're gonna to wanna to probably go back and optimize it further, maybe add some more links. If you've got content that's not getting a lot of traffic, then you're probably gonna to wanna to have a look at that as well, rewrite it, see where it's gone wrong. Maybe you've missed the mark on the keyword research, or, or maybe it's just yeah, not a search for term leave it move on so yeah that's the day in the life of a website owner that has a niche website just more content so there we go that brings us to the end of this video i hope you're now clear on what a niche website is what a niche website isn't and hopefully you're inspired and fired up enough now to go and create your own one i'd love to hear from you leave me a comment below let me know have you got a niche website are you going to create one Maybe you've got some other questions. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. But until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.